I just watched part of Mike Tyson's story that I thought was so interesting and so inspiring. In 1985, when he first became a professional, he fought like, like 15 or 16 times in the beginning year. He started in March of 1985. By January of 1986, he had already fought, yeah, it was like close to like 20 times. But in the 1985 heavyweight rankings, they, were, they showed the top 10 fighters. He was nowhere on the list. Fast forward to January 1986, he was number one. And I can help but think that had he been focused in 1985 on what he saw, that he wasn't in top 10, it would have distracted him from getting to where he would eventually be the following year. How many times have we let the numbers or what we see cause a distraction. First, it causes a discouragement, and then it distracts us from what we need to do. How can we avoid that? We have to stay focused on the plan. We have to continue to practice and prepare for what God is wanting to do through our lives. We don't have to worry about somebody's rankings or somebody's uh, status of us or what level they put us on. We've already been put on a level. We're already leveled up. We're, we're already there. We just have to be able to accept and walk into what God is doing through us. We have to be able to understand that everything that we ever wanted, everything that we ever will achieve in life has already been done. So God is allowing for us to live our life in reverse. Our life has already taken place but we just have to walk into what he's already provided for us and recognize it for what it is. So the next time you look at numbers and you're, you're worried and concerned about certain things, you're worried about your status, you're worried about, oh, I don't know how I measure up, you've already, you already have the measure that you're supposed to have in your life. The measure is your talents. So what are you gonna do? Are you going to invest your talents and be able to help somebody, or are you gonna bury it for fear that you may lose it? What good are your talents if you're not willing to share them with anyone?